is Daniel from speedcubing.org and in this video I'm going to attempt to explain how you can solve a cube. One of these. Get it standard 3x3, three three. get it from looking like this to like this, all solved. So step two is to learn the notation and definitions. So for the notation, R, R prime, L, L prime, U, U prime, D, D prime, F, F prime, B, B prime. And this is a center. There are six centers on the cube. White is opposite yellow. Green is opposite blue. And red is opposite orange. This is an edge here, this piece. There are 12 edges on the cube. And this here is a corner. There are eight corners on the cube. So, for step three, you're going to want to solve a cross like this. And the edge of the cross much past must match the center on every edge here, like this. Not like this, or like this, or anything similar like that. To do this, you're going to need to pick a color. For this example, I'm going to pick orange. And then you're going to want to move all of the orange edges down to the red because red is opposite um, orange so to do this we're going to move that one down like that then this one down like that so slightly across there and then down there this one down like that and there's only one free slot so we're going to have to move this round and move this down then you've got all of the orange pieces next to the red center cap in some sort of flower, daisy, whatever you want to call it, formation. And then you're going to want to move the orange down to the bottom so that you're moving these down to the bottom. So orange green here, and that is already matching the center. So we're going to move that down. Then here we have orange white. And white is opposite yellow, so we're going to move that across to the white over here and down to the orange center. Here we have orange blue, so we're going to move it across to the blue center here and down like that. And here we have orange yellow, it's already matched up, so we're just going to move it straight down to the orange cross. So here we have an orange cross. So for step four, you're going to want to solve the whole first layer. So it all goes round like this. And this explains why we got you to match the edge and the center of the cross up. Because it makes the whole thing a lot easier now. So to do this, you're going to need to find an edge and look at the colors. So find an orange edge and look at the colors. So orange, blue, yellow. So that's going to need to go on top of the slot in between the orange, blue, and yellow centers, which is right here, orange, blue, yellow. So move it on top, and then you're going to need to do this algorithm, which should appear at the bottom of the screen. R, U, R prime, U prime. And then sometimes you'll need to repeat that, but in this case we don't. So then you move on to the next corner. corner. So here we have orange white green so we're going to need to move that across to the orange white green center which is right here orange white green 
and repeat this algorithm. In this case, we're going to need to repeat it five times, which is the maximum you're ever going to need to do. And then here we have orange, green, yellow. So we're going to move that across to the orange, green, yellow center here and repeat this algorithm r u r prime u prime in this case we only need to do it once then we have this orange blue orange white blue corner so we're going to move that across to the orange white blue center which is right here and repeat this algorithm just once this time r u r prime u prime sometimes you may have a case in which it's like this so it's already in or it's in a different slot so you're going to have to take it out so if you don't have any corners in the top layer you're going to have to take one out do the algorithm in the right place and continue from there Step five, you're going to want to solve the second layer like this. So that you've got two layers completely solved. So to do this, we're going to want to move edges to either the left or the right. And there's two different algorithms depending on which way you want to move. So here we have white and then blue. So it's on top of the correct color and it's blue so we need to move it to the left because blue is to the left of white so we do u prime l prime u l u f u prime f prime so then we can move across to the green here and here we have green white so we need to insert it again to the left so we do U prime, L prime, U, L, U, F, U prime, F prime. Here we have green, yellow. So we need to insert it to the right like this. So we do U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, F prime, U, F. And here again we need to insert it to the left so we do the left the one that you showed before you need to remember both of these algorithms because you may need to use either of them if you have a case like this where you have an edge flipped inside either you accidentally get that by doing the wrong algorithm or it just happens to be there all you need to do is use the either one of those algorithms to take it out so. and then match it up again and put it back in so for the first part of step six you're going to want to get the whole cross like this on the top layer so there are three possible cases you can have. You can either have a line like this, just a dot, or a weird shape like this. If you have the line, then you just need to do the algorithm on screen once. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. If you have a dot, then you're going to need to do it once there and then you're going to have this shape here. So for this shape, you need to hold it like this, with the two pieces in the back and left, and do the algorithm once, and you'll have a line, and then do it again, and you'll have the cross. So back, left. Step six, part two, you're going to want to solve the whole top layer like this, make it all one color. 
And to do this, you're going to have to use one of the most annoying algorithms you'll learn because you may have to repeat it many times. So, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U2, R prime. And you're going to have to repeat that in lots of places until you find a way of getting it done. If you have a case where you have one correct corner, hold it here and do the algorithm once. You may have to then put it back in the correct position with the one correct corner here and do that again. But after a lot of playing around, you should eventually solve it. So for step seven, part one, you're going to want to solve all of the corners, or permute them, as we call it. So to do that, if you've got two corners, correct corners next to each other, then match them up with the correct color and hold them at the back and do this algorithm once. R prime, F, R prime, B2, R, F prime, R prime, B2, R2. Should be on screen. If, however, you have, you can't do that with any of them, and the two correct corners are diagonal, then just do the algorithm once anywhere. R prime F, R prime B2, R, F prime, R prime B2, R2. And you should have a case where you have the two correct corners at the back. R prime F, R prime B2, R, F prime, R prime B2, R2. Step 7 part 2 is the final step to solving the cube. So your cube should be completely solved once you've completed this step. If you have one correct edge like this and three incorrect edges, then do the algorithm on screen once. R u prime r u r u r u prime r prime u prime r2. And sometimes it will have solved. Sometimes you'll have to do it one more time. R U prime R U R U R U prime R prime U prime R2. If, however, you have a case like one of these where you have no correct edges, then do the algorithm once and you should have a case like that have one correct edge and hold it at the back and do this. This is the last step of solving a cube so you should soon have a solved cube. So if you're looking at a solved cube right now then congratulations you've done something that very few people have done. But you may be thinking well what do I do next? How do I get into speed cubing? Is there anything more for me to try? may be the case that you want to get lots of different puzzles and learn how to solve all of them. It may be the case that you simply want to be able to do it as fast as you possibly can. Like this. And if you want to do that, then all you have to do is learn some more algorithms and solve it. 100,000 times. But whatever you want to do with speed cubing, I highly recommend that you attend an official World Cube Association cubing competition, and you can do this by going to worldcubeassociation.org forward slash competitions to see if there are any in your area.